Well, good morning, friend. I'm giving you an update here of my commitment to do one hour meditation for 30 days. And I, 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 I lost track. I don't know what day is today, but yes, I did my my hour this morning. Um, so I'm just, you know, sharing so you hold me accountable. But I wanna, wanna share in this video today, it's a question that a client asked me a week ago. And I think it's a question that a lot of people have. She wants to meet somebody. She wants to bring love into her life. And she asked me, Alex, how do I know when I meet somebody that person is the right person? Now, I'm not a relationship coach, so I'm going to take this question and broad to all areas of our life, which is what she's really asking with the question is, how do I have certainty? How am I sure that I am with the right person so I can open my heart, so I don't get hurt, so I don't suffer? That's what she's really asking. So think about anything, any risk you want to take your life from jumping in a relationship, getting to know somebody, starting a business, starting a new job, quitting your current job, or simply letting go your anxiety and start meditating more, right? I have clients who are afraid to carve the hour to meditate and they would rather stand anxiety than actually calm down their brains. Why? Fear of uncertainty. And I'm going to be talking a lot about this for now because it's one of the top stressors for people is the fear of the uncertain and we all need to fall in love with this uncertainty now i'm not saying don't have any certainty in your life we definitely need that our brain needs a level of certainty which i call anchors create some anchors in your life anchors can be um a job that you love anchors can be your friends Anchors can be your meditation, but I recommend that to really create a solid anchor in your life is to create something that is within you. So it doesn't depend on anything external. What is an anchor? Like for me, a meditation every hour is my anchor. It's a place I come to. It's a place that I know if things are falling apart outside me, if I have some sort of stress caused by people or money, whatever that is, I have my anchor of myself. So you create an anchor, you create certainties in your life, things you can absolutely control. And then any adventure you're going to enter, like again, a new job, a new relationship, you need to fall in love with uncertainty because how do we know we are with the right person and right in the beginning? You, the more in tune you are with your heart, the more knowledge you have about what you really want, about any choices in your life, the more trust you will have in your heart that your heart's got. And your heart's going to tell you, does this feel right? How many times in your life you might have said, this doesn't feel right, or this feels so right. So my answer to her was, you will know, trust your heart. If it feels right at that moment, keep moving forward. And also we need to let go of this like certainty of what's going to happen in the future. We want to predict, and there are many things we can predict, and if we can explore life as a beautiful adventure and let go this attachment to know where we're going to go, we can enjoy every day so much more because it allows us to be, oops, sorry, allows us to be more in the present moment. So that's what I want to share with you because I know that question for my clients is a question that a lot of people have. So another reason to meditate, to have a spiritual practice, to anchor yourself. So when things don't work out, which happens, you come back home, you come back to yourself. Sending so much love to you, wishing you a great weekend, and I talk to you very soon. Goodbye.